I'd like to talk a little bit about vidmas. What a strange word that is. Well, it actually isn't a word. Each letter stands for something. And to help explain this, I'd like us just to jump ahead and consider this question. 2 times 3 plus 4 times 5. So this in itself is not a difficult question, but let's consider it in sequence. 2 multiplied by 3 plus 4 times 5. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. So I've got 6 up to this point. Addition of 4 gives me 10 up to that point. Times by 5 gives me an overall answer of 50. If, however, we use a calculator, I'd like you to grab one now, so pause the clip and grab one, and then simply type in 2 times 3 plus 4 times 5, and then at the very end press equals, we will actually get an answer of 26. So when I did it, I had an answer of 50. And when the calculator did it, it had an answer of 26. And clearly, they're not the same. But which one is correct? Well, in fact, the calculator has done this correctly, whereas I haven't. This is where bid mass helps us out with our order of operations. Each letter stands for a mathematical operation, and it should be done in that order. And this is actually worldwide. It's not just something that I've made up. What do each of these letters actually represent? Well, the B stands for bracket. So any brackets in your question, that part is done first. The I stands for indices. That would be powers. So say we had X squared. Your indice would be here. D, fairly straightforward, division. M, I guess you can guess, multiplication. A is your addition. And finally, S, I presume you could guess at that one, would be subtraction. And that is bid mass. But let's apply this theory of bid mass to a real example. Let's consider brackets 4 plus 3, close brackets, all squared, minus 9. What does that equal? Well, let's apply bid mass. So, using bid mass, the B, brackets, means that anything in brackets I need to do first. Well, here we have our brackets. 4 plus 3 must be done first. Well, that would equal 7. So, rewriting what I've got, this equals 7, still squared, minus 9. is equal to, and we'll carry it. The I is the next operation that I need to consider. The I was standing for indices, any powers. Well, I do have an indice here of squared, so 7 squared is 49. Again, rewriting what I have left, minus 9 equals, and we'll carry on. The next thing I consider is division. Well, I don't have any division, so I then move on to M, multiplication. Again, not in this question. The same with the A for addition, not in this question. So my final thing that I need to do is my subtraction. 49 minus 9 gives me my final answer of 40. And using bid mass, that's correct. Let's consider a more complex question now. 8 added to, open bracket, 4 multiplied by 3 squared minus 6 close brackets. Now the added problem of this is that I have several operations to do within the brackets. The best thing to do here is indeed to take the brackets as a separate entity. 4 times 3 squared minus 6 and then we reapply bid mass to all of this part. Well, I don't have any brackets within this at the moment, but I do have an indice. 3 squared would be 9, so that would be 4 multiplied by 9 minus 6. Continuing using bid mass, what comes next? There's no division, but there is a multiplication. 4 times 9 is 36 minus the 6 gives me an answer for this bracketed part only of 30. So, I've just worked out that the bracketed part was equal to 30. I had my addition here. 8 plus 30 gives me a final answer of 38. So I hope that helps.